I'm using the uh, Eterna Bond tape. Got it off Amazon. I'll put the link down there for you to uh, look up. Here is a uh, part number for it. And I'm noticing as I'm peeling the plastic off this package, it is really, really sticking right here, see? And so you're just going to have to maybe put it in the sun a little bit or just work it really slow where you don't peel it all, all the glue out. I don't know if you can see that glue just trying to peel out with that tape. I mean, this gives you an idea how sticky this stuff really is. Now, I'm not going to bore you all with all the cleaning. Go watch uh, another video if you'd like to see uh, the cleaning and how I went about uh, cleaning all the edges and making sure everything's good and clean. Just wanted to make a little video here showing you how I'm doing the fronts. And I got the black to turn the bond tape, as I mentioned earlier. Ladder safety, always be careful on the ladder. I reel out enough to where it can sit on the ground and I can work from up top. Working my way from the top down and then I'm gonna work from the, I'll tack it down here on the edge and I'll work on the inside end. Just also wanted to show you, you can peel this back, check all your screws, make sure they're all uh, painted and not rusted because if they got rust on them that means you've already got a leak and that's not a good thing and this stuff just pops out just pull it pop it out and you can just push it pop it back in and of course i'm going to tape over it so that i'll never have a leak here ever again which really gives me a good feeling to know that i'm not going to have any more leaks or worries about leaks because you're running down the highway you can see how water would just be hitting this constantly do have a few little gaps here that I will still have to use some die core to, to keep up and maintain, but a whole lot better than having to do all this every time. Y'all can see this. I'm peeling this tape out from behind it like this, and then I'm just using the outside edge of the trailer as a guide to keep it straight. down here and I'm going to go back to the top and kind of start working it down a little bit. Again, starting from this side and I just barely kind of tap it down just a little bit and then I start smoothing it from this inside edge towards the middle, towards the outside. You can see this little diamond plate. Get some little gaps there. Just kind of, kind of push that down. Just make sure you're getting that all sealed in nice and good, and just a little bit of pressure. That's what activates the uh, the bonding agents in the tape. And rub it down. All sealed, and I can tell you, after doing this and knowing the water that you encounter out on the road unexpectedly this definitely makes me feel a whole lot better about uh, driving down the road and a storm blows up and I don't have any place to pull over I know it'll stay dry now okay I already cut it and ran it down just using the outside edge as a guideline to keep it straight and I'm just working it down now and as you can see I'm kind of working it from in out like this and then just I'm going to show you how I'm just kind of pressing it down into these crevices and then smoothing it. And again pressure is what activates the uh, adhesion. 
And right here where there's little seams, I've been cutting just a little relief and then pressing it up in there. And then, of course, leaving the back part there to where it'll See stay if I good. I can show this, but cut yeah. just a hair above where that seam is, and then that way you can push this up just underneath it a little bit, and that'll help right, seal that little corner. From a distance, you can tell that turn the bonds along the top, along that back edge, and I really don't think it changes the look of the trailer much, and the, the real big benefit, I get the good feeling of knowing that I've sealed it up, it's gonna stay dry, I don't have any maintenance that I'm gonna have to mess with, so I can spend more time enjoying camping, enjoying the outdoors, and relaxing and, and not worrying about, no, is my trailer gonna leak, or is there gonna be some sort of damage over the winter, uh, what have you. Um, so I really think it's a great upgrade that everybody really should look into and consider. Uh, Turnabon's just one brand. I don't work for them, don't have anything to do with them other than, you know, it's just something I researched and found. There's other brands out there, so uh, do your research and uh, figure out what will work best for you. Yeah.